Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an Ulta haul, so if you'd like to see some of the goodies that I picked up, please keep watching. So the first thing I grabbed was this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Brow Razor. It's a highlighter duo, and it's in the shade Light. So this is what it looks like. I saw somebody on YouTube use it, I can't remember who it was, but it made me wanna buy it, and it was on sale, so I picked it up. And it looks like there's like a shimmer highlighter on one side and then a matte highlighter on the other. I feel like I was watching one of those Vogue Get Ready With Me's, the ones with like the celebrities. I think that's where I saw this, but I'm not sure. But this is what it looks like. It's a pretty like fat crayon thing. So let's do... Mm, doesn't feel all that creamy although my hands are super dry but the matte side doesn't feel very creamy but the shimmer side does you're probably not really gonna be able to see it because it actually is like the same color as my hand okay so the matte side does seem like it's gonna blend out it feels really soft and then the cream side or the the shimmer highlighting side feels really really smooth and I like that it's subtle see that it's not like in your face like if you were to use like a face highlighter for a brow highlight I like that so I'm definitely gonna try this out in a testing new products video so keep a lookout for that the next thing I picked up is a toasted vanilla lip gloss and hand cream this is from the brand sweet and shimmer they had a deal where you could get I think five things for ten dollars it was something like that so I went ahead and got this I have no idea what it smells like but next I picked up a few things from Colourpop this one has been sold out every time I've tried to buy it online and it finally came in stock so I grabbed it this is the Colourpop truly madly deeply eyeshadow palette it looks gorgeous this is the packaging I love Colourpop's packaging I think I think if somebody was to ask me what my favorite makeup brand was I think I'm gonna say Colourpop like at the moment I think so so you lift it up there is no mirror but look at these shades this screams like spring summer to me there's a few like pressed glitters really pretty mattes I don't know why but this is like me if I were a palette and then if you saw my last Ulta haul I actually had the frozen Anna collection so I had to get the Elsa one because I love that one so this is what it looks like I think this is the PR box that everybody got I'm not really sure but I'm not throwing this away like I love this I still want to do a video You'll probably see a video of me testing out the Anna box before you see this Ulta haul, but I want to do another video doing this box too for a tutorial, but these boxes, oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. So in here, you get a lip gloss, a lipstick, the eyeshadow palette, and then this is like a gel glitter thing. That's what the palette looks like on the inside, cool tones, but it's gorgeous. I cannot wait. It kind of reminds me of the, I feel like there's a Kylie palette that looks similar to this, like one of her Christmas ones. I can't remember which one though. So definitely keep a lookout for a video testing out all of these products in this box. So like a makeup tutorial, I'm not going to really be like testing it out, but a makeup tutorial using all of these products. Next, I got the Tarte Stay Spray Setting Spray. This is the I think it's part of the Shape Tape collection. It says Locks Makeup In, Place for 16 Hours, Transfer Proof, Weightless, Cucumber and Aloe, Double Duty Beauty. So I think this might go with the primer. I have a Double Duty primer from them too that's a hydrating one. So I don't know if this has to go along with the Shape Tape or not, but it does say Shape Tape Nation on the side. So Next, I picked up a few things from Clinique. So this first one right here is the Clinique Pop Splash Lip Gloss Plus Hydration. This is the packaging this is in the shade juicy apple how cute is this packaging it's been forever since I've tried like anything from Clinique okay so it's not like super pigmented but it feels really hydrating not really a scent and really lightweight so it's kind of just like a wash of color on the lips so it says splash lip gloss plus hydration on the bottom 13 juicy apple 
probably pretty just like by itself or with like a lip liner. Next, I picked up the Clinique Clarifying Lotion. This is for combination oily number three. I've noticed that I have like a little bit of combination skin like on my forehead and on my nose. So I wanted to try this out in those areas. Gosh, it's been forever since I've used Clinique skincare. So I know I like it. So I wanted to go back to something that I like because the stuff I'm using now isn't really working for me. Then I went ahead and got the Clinique dramatically different hydrating jelly for the rest of my face because the rest of my face is so dry right now and my neck so I got this and then I got the cartridge that goes inside so you can like customize your own kind of like moisturizer and whatever cartridge you want for like an extra boost of whatever so this one is for fatigue and it's the energize glow one I thought this would be the best for my dry skin. We'll see. So this thing just goes inside of here. This says, formula with terrine energizes skin, revives glow for visible reduction in the signs of skin fatigue. I don't know. It seemed like the best one out of all of the ones to choose from. So I'm going to stick these guys together and make this my probably daytime moisturizer. Oh. The Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly says it's 24-hour hydration repair and anti-pollution. Then I think I got this for free. This is the Clinique Quick Liner for Intense Eyes. And it's in the shade Intense Black. Oh my gosh. I usually don't wear a lot of eyeliner, but... Uh, it doesn't really look black. It looks navy. It says black though, but this part is definitely navy. I don't know what's going on with that, so... Uh, uh. Next, I have the Quick Liner for Lips from Clinique. This is in the shade 14 Velvet Rose. So since we're talking about Clinique, let me know if you guys use it and what your number one favorite thing is from Clinique. So this is the lip liner. It looks just like the eyeliner. So this is kind of just like a soft berry color right there. Be really pretty. Kind of like how I have on now. I just kind of have like a liner and then like a lip gloss. Then I got the Clinique Pop Lip Color and Primer. This is in the shade 10 Punch Pop. And this is what this looks like. Ooh, this is going to be perfect for spring and summer. Oh, it's really creamy and really pigmented. I might have to get a couple more shades of this. Oh my gosh. I love that. And then I think this came for free as well. You know, like sometimes on Ulta.com you buy things and you get like free gifts with whatever purchase. So this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover liquid version. I actually use like the solid, the one that comes in the little screw off container. And that is like my holy grail makeup remover. I will always use it. So I'm kind of excited to try like the liquid version. So I bought this on Black Friday. It was like, I don't know half the price or a third of the price it was something like that but this is the it confidence in an eye cream i got the moisturizer like face cream in a boxy charm and i loved it i used the entire thing so i wanted to try the eye cream and then this one on sale because this is pretty pricey i think this is between like 40 and 50 dollars maybe even 60 i don't remember but like i said i got it half off ish so now i just need to repurchase the moisturizer so i can wear them together and that would be like my nighttime moisturizer and eye cream because it's like super thick but super hydrating i love it oh and i actually put a free sample in here of the moisturizer and this just looks like a mini version of the moisturizer the eye cream so this is actually a repurchase this is from l'oreal and it's their foundation sponge it's the pink one i heard that they redid it i hope not but i used to have this and i used it all the time so i wanted to repurchase it again so i have this guy also in my last alta haul i had the shampoo conditioner and the primer from eva nyc so i went ahead and picked up this again this is the therapy session hair mask i've already used an entire thing of this it took me a really long time to use this is huge you can see but i wanted to get this again to go with my other things when I switch over from my biolash because I'm almost out so I want to use them all together well I'll probably use this like probably every other time I wash my hair or once a week or something like that because I wash my hair probably every other day I know it's so bad I should probably only wash it like once or twice a week but I can't help it so I really really like this so like I said I've already used it before love then I picked this up from Aquage Aquage is the only hair products I used to use like my senior year and then when I was like 18, 19, 20, because my hairstylist 
Becky. She worked at this place in Manhattan and that was like the only brand that they carried. They carried that in Redken and she would always put Aquage products on my hair and I love the smell of it. So I got this. This is the transforming paste. It says spread a small amount thinly over fingers, slide fingers through hair, dry hair to direct to fine or texturize. Also can be used on wet hair. So I thought I could use this when I leave my hair naturally curly or when I like wave it and maybe put some of this in there. So we'll see. Then I got this on Black Friday too. This is from Kylie Cosmetics and it's the Kylighter in the shade Princess Please. I did buy all her blushes that came in this packaging, but I don't think I got any of her highlighters. So this is the shade right here. It's a pretty like silver pink kind of shade. So I like to wear more of like a silvery kind of highlighter in the winter times because that's when I'm like super fair and I get no sun. So I think that this shade of highlighters looks the best on my skin. The last thing from this haul I also got on Black Friday. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water Duo. I got this for 10 bucks and it comes with two of them. It says a fire and an air. I don't know the difference or anything like that, but I did go through two full size of these primer waters once and then I saw it go on sale for Black Friday. So I I repurchased these. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's everything from my Ulta haul. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products in the comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't already and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later. Bye!